Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Banished. And in the last episode, we kind of just um, fended off some more disease, if I remember correctly. We um, set up some more farms. Um, and beyond that, that's about all I can remember. It's been a while since I played. Took a quick look at the v last video. Um, didn't watch it all the way through, but I think um, pretty much we was just dealing with the fallout from the last outbreak, if I remember correctly. Um, I did do some work over here getting some more um, stockpiles set up um, and then like I said these farms down here and um, looks like we got people dying of old age and we were also working on this beet farm to try to find out how many it would get and you know of course we only got 13 this season but this season was uh, a really um, quick season on this one this is just a little test farm we're just gonna see if it works or not and I do apologize for some of the delays that I've been having with Banished. Um, an awful lot going on in my personal life right now. And um, thinking I'm probably going to do kind of a channel update video. Um, maybe later today or tomorrow. Um, to kind of just give you a, a heads up as to some of the things going on. And how that will affect the channel. Or if it will affect the channel. Let's see. We are... Um, running out of looks like tomatoes so yeah I do believe that's what we was gonna do here and I was just waiting for homes to get built if I remember correctly there we go. should help out with our tomato production um, we got quite a bit up in here we also got some grains going but we just had I think the four tomato farms is all so that should help out quite a bit and let's make sure yeah we are in five times so we're doing good there what else we got going on here we got some furnace fuel I'm really not sure what I should do this episode things are just kind of stable I mean the biggest thing I want to do is get our uh, tenery um, business up and going so that we can actually sell this stuff and perhaps we should go ahead and put in another um, trader and I'm not sure if I've mentioned it or not but I think I have but just in case there's um, there's been some uh, The talk around, um, sorry, I'm having a brain fart here. Um, some talk around the Mega Mod. Um, a few people tell me, yeah, do it. You can, you should be able to just integrate it right in with this town. Um, I gotta tell you, I've tried it, doesn't work. Um, it's, uh, the game crashes. And after talking to some of the Black Liquid guys, I kind of have the understanding that the problem is that, um, the latest version of the Mega Mod, um, isn't safe game compatible like uh, some of the older one was um, so there's that but once this series is over we're gonna probably use the mega mod hopefully they'll have some of the bugs worked out of it and um, we'll be able to deal with it then let's see do I want a farm supplier industry supplier dry goods food supplier Charter company I think these are all um, I kind of think an industry supplier might be the first thing I should do. I'd really kind of like to put it like somewhere down in here, but I don't think that I can. And I don't know that he can make it around here, even if he could. Um, I could... I could put it somewhere like here and build bridges across. That's a possibility. Maybe flatten out some of this. I may have even talked about doing that the more I think about it. I kind of want to say that I was talking about putting in like a, a dock type situation over here. Let's take a look at that. So first off, let's build us a bridge. And I don't know what kind of bridge we want to build here. Could just build a creek plank. It would look good going across here, but be just like this one. I'll do a real one though. I'll we'll build it here. And I think we're gonna come out here and hmm, don't want to flatten an area out here. Let's see, I kinda thought 
thought about doing something like this. And then you could just have little outlets. I don't know if there's where I'd want to do it. It might be better to do it over here and flatten this out. That might make more sense. Similar to what we did up here on our little island here. Peninsula. And I don't recall who it was. Uh, somebody left a comment saying I was uh, spending too much time up in the air, up in the clouds. Um, yep, I agree. So I'm going to try to uh, keep it back down ground level um, as much as possible. It's not always possible, but it should be possible enough that it's not a problem. So thank you for reminding me. And if you see me doing it again, just be sure to let me know. I'm going to power flatten this, I think. I think that works better over here. I don't want to have to wait on them. Got to be careful with the power flattening tool, but um, there's, you know, you don't get a second chance at it. Wish this wasn't at this angle. Oops, we got a traitor. Just go take a look at him really fast. Um, he has food. I could probably use a little bit of food. We want. Now it's been mentioned I, I know on some other series and I'll mention it here too but you can use the auto buy to buy things like food so use purchase and I'm doing it with logs uh, but that's not dangerous but when you do it with food um, you run into a problem so you see how the top ones here are four cost so it, it's gonna work down the list this way so if I said buy um, 400 uh, credits worth of food, I'd just get the 100 pemmican and that'd be it. When I could have got uh, 400 bagels. So it's something you want to keep in mind. You, you know, um, you might want the higher cost stuff, but I'd rather micromanage it a little bit myself. Um, but, you know, do what you want. If that's something you would like to do, then you can. But just keep that in mind. Wood's, uh, I think, always the same cost, though, so that's why I'm not concerned about doing it. Um, it's only not um, whenever there's a uh, it's only not cost effective whenever there's a uh, um, an order that you put in I may only get this one episode recorded today guys because I'm kind of having like brain farts here I, don't, I, I got a slight headache and that might be why I thought it was gone but it, it's apparently still a problem but I did kind of want to get something out. Let's see, I could get 300 cheese bread if I dump out my fire bundles. Dealing here. Um, this beet farm is uh, certainly producing better than the last season, obviously, but I still don't think it's going to get up into the range where we want it. Tomatoes ought to be doing pretty good, though. See, that, I mean, that's right there, and you can look. Um, 500 versus, how many was it? 100. So, I don't think we want to waste time with the beets. I was going to pickle them, was kind of where I was going with that, but... hard to see the textures that's the other problem with the flattening tool is the textures are get kind of messed up after you've messed with it try to keep this as I'm trying to think what the word is I want to try to keep it as unfunky <laughs> looking as I can you can see it's kind of funky but that's okay that's We can fix it up a little bit using the uh, um, key walls. See, I said that right this time. It's not usually what happens. But we could put key walls around some of this, and I think that'll take care of a lot of it. Um, it looks like maybe. Maybe not. And then what I was kind of thinking. Like 
like a something like this. And then we can build off docks right here. Well, I say docks, but like a trader dock. in there to get my traders it's not where I want to go um, I'll, I may tell him to build this and even and everything but I may not utilize it for a little while and this may not work this may end up being one of the worst decisions I've ever made I don't know Let's see where do I want to put this I'll put this on the like full-blown like this or do I want to widen it out a little bit and put it at the end I think that'd look a little funky. I'd have to do a lot more work. Could technically, even put it on this side, but I think that would look even worse. Let's see, I could do that, or I could bring it up one. Maybe if we can get the angle right here. Yeah, I think like that. We'll do that. An industry supplier. Because a lot of our industry, I kind of think, is going to be right in this general vicinity. So, that's kind of where I'm going with that. that build. I shouldn't have any problem getting there. Maybe a regular flatten. I don't know, is there need to be any flattening going on here? Nah, it really looks like that's probably okay. Um, well that looks a little funky. Let's try this. Um, I don't think this will destroy anything. Yeah, that looks a little better. I don't know about that side, but That'll probably work okay. That looks a little weird, I guess, but if I could get the other side to look similar, that probably looks similar, anyways. Be careful not to remove your bridge. <laughs> yeah, I think that'll probably work. All right. just realized that I actually, there's a podcast starting that I really want to watch here very soon in, in about 30 minutes, so definitely it'll only be just the one episode today. Um, if you don't know about it, um, of course it'll be too late at this point, but uh, there's a podcast called Lion Eyes Watch, um, it's hosted on Lifting Nerd Bros channel, it's a Path of Exile uh, podcast, so if you're in the Path of Exile... It's very much worth checking out, especially since State of Exile is no more. Uh, looks like we're just waiting on some stone. And if you don't know, I'm pretty big in the Path of Exile. I don't do a lot of videos on it, but um, I'd like to do more on it, but they just don't seem to get the reception that I'd like them to get, so i got to try to come up with some way of um, curbing that. Let's see, do I want any of this? We have sorghum. Um, hemp, I think, would be really good, but really the bamboo kind of gets us where we need to be on material, I think. Yeah, I think I'll just get rid of him. Okay, and these guys should be... Yep, they are building it. I think that'll look, out per, look pretty darn good, actually, when it's all said and done. Um, I don't know if I want to put multiple traders on the same thing. I kind of think I might put on some sort of docks or something over here fishing and such, and then um, build some other um, areas over here for some of the other traders. Might even end up deleting this trader that's up here and moving it down here, I don't know. Maybe not. It's got the infrastructure it needs right there, so I might not. Okay, getting some lag it looks like in-game. It's a little disconcerting. The city's not that big yet. Um, let's see. Tomatoes, and tomatoes, and got 886, or 868, 868, 868, great yield. Um, these 298. I don't think these are worth it. We're going to let it go one more season and we'll see, but I, I don't think that's going to be worth it. Probably switch it over to some more sorghum, um, or 
potentially even some bamboo. Um, what are these guys using? These are using bamboo. This one's using bamboo. Um, now, granted, some of that is because we had to refill this, but uh, we actually already got the fodder bundles in there, so um, yeah, we're definitely going to need some more bamboo. Question is, is do I want to put it here and here? I don't know that I do. Oops, uh, plantations. Let's see, I think I want to build the bamboo out, yeah, out this way. Bamboo farms maybe even sprawling across here? I, maybe, I don't know. I'd like to do something around the school a little bit more, but really the school's area is inside here. Um, <laughs> could build bamboo farms all the way around it. That'd look funky. I'm not in this for funky, I'm in this to look good. So let's see. I think because we got a farm here, and a, I mean a bundler here and a bundler here that need bamboo, I'm going to build it maybe up here or somewhere. Um, the only problem is, is building them like this is not really ideal from a size perspective. I'm trying to remember how big these were. Yeah, 11 by 11. Yeah, I guess I'll just do it down here. Might cut some of this out. Something extremely indecisive, apparently. Do that and that. And this one. Down. Switch it to bamboo. Give it a worker. How oh, is our sorghum doing? Is it doing good? Oh, yeah. So it's getting the same yield. So I would say in ideal temperature settings and everything, um, 868 is probably, for those particular crops, is probably what it just should be. And we got this guy up and going. We actually have somebody working here now. Is that because... It, it's definitely because it took us away from here. Yep, it is. Uh, we'll put that guy back up there. And... Uh, Get this guy some stuff to trade with. I don't know if just anybody would take the tin soup or not. That's a possible, not really an issue, but a possible um, thing to take into consideration. Let's see, what, how are we on our soups? Do we have like surplus of them yet? Tin soup, we have 251, and we're producing it at, I know I'm up in the skies again, how are we doing a production here, 828, so we're still probably utilizing more than we're making, in, uh, food wise, we need to get another tenery up and going at some point, this went to 936, that was good, um, tin soup, I'm going to tell it to put 500 in here. And then we'll see if anybody takes it. This is the problem I'm not sure about. Our industry suppliers might not do it, which means we'd have to use, um, you know, use it for generic and for food trading instead. Which is okay. We just have to come up with some other item to use for the re rest of it, and fire bundles is a good one. This one's ready. Doing on homes. Uh, need a couple more homes, that's for sure. Uh, let's do. I guess let's do it on a boat. This guy needs a home. Yeah. You know, dock homes might work better down here. We'll take a look at that in a second. Got a trader up here again. I'm gonna do. Oh. 
That get a couple homes there. Um, let's take a look at this trader really fast. More food, which we're actually doing pretty good on food, but it's a guy. No meat. It's just fruits and veggies. Cherries. Let's take the cherries. Oh, what happened here? Um, miner. Oh, so one of our mines. This one. We need to upgrade. We're not making candles yet. I don't. Think. Think. Well, that's not good. Um, I didn't expect that to run out that fast. Um, are we making candles? I think the answer is no. Inventory candles. No, we are not producing candles. So, we need to produce candles! There we go. Um, hmm. We're probably going to have to get in some more apiaries, too. This is going to eat through our beeswax. Um, let's take that into account. Let's say we're going to build more apiaries and we're going to build them away from the rest of the town. Let's see, does apiaries give us a bonus of any kind? Um, they do. And how about the candler? Chandler? Candler? Chandler. Um, he doesn't have a radius of anything, so hopefully that means he's not generating a negative effect. Um, hmm, let's see. How big is our apiaries? Could actually put those down somewhere in this area, and that would counteract some of the uh, industrial stuff. Let's see. Um, if I was to put an apiary here, pause that. Chandler will that fit behind it, if you will. Problem is, is I can still only fit one apiary over here, though. Um, well, maybe. Put that there. And let's see, can we put another apiary down this way? No, because we've got a road going through there. Which we could actually just get rid of, I guess. In fact, that road is doing absolutely nothing for us. I'm sure I had a reason to put the road there, but I don't remember what it was. Let's get that going. Let's go ahead and get this building, I think. And these guys should start working at the mine again once we have um, people to actually work on it. But they'll see, like you can see, him. he's working as a laborer at the moment. Let's see, we've got another apiary. As soon as that's done, I think it's going to fit in here without a problem. Yep. And it looks like there's enough room for a road through there, so I'm going to leave a space. So I'm going to have to go like right there. There. Uh, oh, this is our other trading post. We actually have our soup in here, so we have 500 and they'll trade for three, so they're really not trading for as much as I thought they would. I thought they traded for a lot more than that. In fact, I want to say when my testing that I was, they were worth five, but I could be mistaken. The good news is, is you will take it, though. Um, and we are still theoretically doing good on this. I don't know 100%, but it's what we're going to still strive for. It's what we started on. It's what we're going to do. What's he got? I don't, we don't really need tools. Um, furniture, maybe. Some fancy furniture, fancy homewares. For now, I might just top off my stone and my ore. 
is 1500. I don't think I can get all of this. I might be able to. No, I definitely can't get it all. Um, let's do. Uh, let's see, can we do. Whoops. Do 150. That's still not enough. I think iron's gonna be the one I need. I don't know if more is the right word, but actually, let's do this. 150. Do that. It's 170. And we can do 155 there. Give us a little bit of an influx on that, so we'll do that. Eventually, we will set up some auto buy stuff there, I'm sure. Okay, um, so Chandler, one here, one there. Um, we are going to use beeswax at the moment. I think I got enough flavors to pump this up. Let's go with this one. Ooh, horses and cows. Now, horses, I don't really have a need for. Just not a big fan. Um, cows, on the other hand, so we have, what, just pigs, I think. Oh, no, we have some sheep, too. Um, but cows would get us... Yeah, I, I, we're going to probably get the cows, guys. We can start a dairy farm. Let's see. I need to start wrapping this episode up. Um, but with all the babbling I did on the at the beginning, I imagine that I'll be... Um, still pretty good on timing here. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this thing. This is not producing at all. And that's one of our farmers, which I should have did something about beforehand. Oops. I'm still not sure if I like just using this little professions one. I mean, it's nice to have the screen real estate, but I don't know. It, it's kind of annoying whenever you have to go do like I just did. Okay, so let's say we were going to do this and we were going to have um, dairy farms around. With that in mind, where would I want to build my farm at? I don't want to take up any room up here. Um, I could do it over here and then we could put bamboo elsewhere again. Yeah, let's let's do that. We'll say like right here's where we'll put some dairy farms, maybe some dairy guys. Um, I'm not really sure how big to build this offhand. I'm just gonna go with something like that, just because that's kind of fits. Let's see. Now, have we made any candles yet? made some candles, that's good. Uh, we made near enough candles, but we've made some. So we'll do that. And... Let's see, is there anything else I want to do before... Um, I think this is going to work out pretty good, but... Definitely gonna need to put a home over here for this guy. I don't think I want to give him a shanty. I'm gonna give him a home. I don't want to use dock homes though, or do I want to use key? Um, I want to use key homes. I just don't remember if I'm making all the proper furniture stuff yet. Um, let's just go to Doc Holmes for now. We can change it later. Actually, kind of thinking I might do like this. Do like that. This doesn't work out. I'll have to change it then. I think it'll work 
out okay. I wish I could angle this better. It's hard to tell. Is it there? No. There. There. And one more. There. That should be good for the home. Shouldn't have to worry about a barn or anything down here at the moment. And I do believe the game will be perfectly smart about this. I don't, you know, I don't think that the builders will stay there unless they have stuff to work on. But I could be wrong. Uh, bricks and bricks. That's all like full. It's my hospital. Another one coming in. I really need them to get this finished. That's what I'd like to do before I finish off the episode is buy those cows so I don't forget. I need to buy the farm. Um, how are we producing? 108 beeswax, 54 beeswax. I need to look at some of the recipes too, see if there's anything else we could do with honey. I know we can make mead, obviously, we're doing that, I think. Um, but, yeah, we're making mead. And the alcohol is going here. And I'm assuming that people are drinking the alcohol because I haven't seen a lot of it sitting in my inventory. Okay, what do we got? If he had enough candles, I'd be tempted to buy those. He doesn't have any candles. <laughs> um, and I don't have any soup to trade with either. So I'll have to just get rid of him for now. We are going to definitely need to um, put in some more tenneries. 1600, 1500, yeah. The problem is, is at the moment we're running out of tin. Uh, I would assume. Uh, we actually have quite a bit of tin. We have 210 ore, 951 tin. So even though this building's out of it, we're still pretty good. We're getting the candles over there fairly quickly, though, so hopefully this won't be too big of a deal. Come on. Builders, farmers. So good, we did get some farmers in here. The biggest thing is these guys are carrying it down here, probably. Um, I'm not sure if I've got enough laborers yet to do the whole pickup thing or not. Probably getting pretty close. Let's see. Come on. Build. Build, build, build. because we actually need it now, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, yeah, we'll do that. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to turn the beeswax off. So we're going to need that beeswax. Is that all the tools we were over? Limit on tools. Okay, Frisian caps. good news is we can actually fit everything in here. So now we should start producing some milk. That'll be good. Um, got another trader coming in. Um, I think I'll save him for the next episode. Um, once we get uh, enough candles in, we'll get this mine shaft up and working again, and we'll be able to start producing more tin. And at that point, I'm going to be uh, getting in some more soup tinneries. Um, we could probably go ahead and do that, but I'm going to go ahead and just wait for a short little bit. And um, 
Oh, that wasn't even a trader for this one. That was a trader that was leaving up here, I imagine. So, never mind. Um, okay. So, anyways, guys, I'm uh, sorry if I um, was a little out of it today. Like I said, I've got a pretty bad headache, but I really wanted to get um, something recorded and something done, so I got a video to post this week. Um, so, yeah, and um, just kind of an FYI, um, I did start another series, uh, Game Dev Tycoon. Um, uh, it's just a game I've been wanting to play a little bit of after I did the quick look. I was looking at it, and I was like, hey, this might work out pretty good for a video series. Whether or not it's fun to watch or not, I don't know, but while I'm playing it, I figure I'll go ahead and record it, and I am going to get another episode of that out hopefully this week. Um, I actually have several of them recorded, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal, but I haven't really seen any views on it yet, so uh, please check that out. Let me know if you like it or not. If you don't like it, that's perfectly fine. Um, you don't have to keep watching them or anything, but um, I think it's a game that... Um, it's pretty casual and pretty easy to listen to, like maybe while you're playing another game or something. So uh, give it a check and see what you'd like, see if you like it or not. Um, anyways, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Um, if you like what you're seeing, like, comment, subscribe. Feel free to share the video, and I'll see you next time.